Hey Taurus, you don't see this coming for December 7, 2022. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Taurus for December the 7th, 2022. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Taurus for December the 7th, 2022. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Taurus for December the 7th, 2022. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. So, Taurus. Taurus, these are your cards. So, Taurus, you have the Seven of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is someone lying, cheating, stealing, being manipulative, trying to get away with something. Someone being deceptive. Someone strategically devising a plan of action. Someone being sneaky, trying to escape, trying to get away with something. So, Taurus, some type of lying, cheating, deceptiveness, sneakiness, or sneaking off. Clarify the Seven of Swords for Taurus. Clarify the Seven of Swords for Taurus. Clarify the Seven of Swords for Taurus. It is clarified with the Five of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is tit for tat, tug of war, one up in one another, snide remarks, having the last say, speaking ill of one another behind each other's back, backstabbing one another. This is playing mind games, ego tripping, trying to win at all costs, a bunch of mind games and manipulation. So Taurus, listen, you can tell me that you guys had this tit for tat, tug of war, toe to toe going on. Could be some form of mind games and manipulation. However, you can tell me that you're pissed and you have an axe to grind here. Now, Taurus, listen, you can tell me that you guys had this tip of tat tug of war toe-to-toe -to -toe going on over some type of deception, some type of back and forth. You can tell me that, yeah, there was some mind games and manipulation. Someone is very deceptive here. However, Taurus, you can tell me that you're pissed and you have an ax to grind because of this deception. And you may be wanting to, like, maybe sneak off here, Taurus. Taurus, you have the two of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is, we see eye to eye, face to face. We are spiritually connected. We are one. We are meant to be. We are soulmates. Soulmates with a divine union, a divine connection. So listen, Taurus, very well could be dealing with your soulmate here, but this can also be some type of an agreement. Hmm. Clarify the two of cups for Taurus. Clarify the two of cups for Taurus. Clarify the two of cups for Taurus. It is clarified with the star. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, but the star symbolizes having hope, having faith, healing, getting your wish, being divinely guided, following your destiny. So Taurus, listen, could be dealing with an Aquarius, but you can tell me that you're getting your wish, following your destiny. You can tell me that you need to heal individually on your own or you're holding out hope and faith that you guys can heal things, mend things, work things out and reconcile. Clarify the star for Taurus. Clarify the star for Taurus. Clarify the star for Taurus. It is clarified with the nine of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is wish fulfillment, but this can also speak to you feeling smug or overindulging in alcohol or substance abuse. Now listen, Taurus, very well could be getting your wish here. You can tell me that you're feeling smug or overindulging. Now Taurus, listen, you know, you can be getting your wish with some type of an agreement here. You could also tell me it's your wish that you guys heal things, mend things, work things out with your soulmate here, Taurus. I hope you're not feeling smug and you left to go towards a soulmate because you're pissed at the current partner. Taurus, you have the moon. 
could be dealing with a Pisces, but the moon symbolizes secrets or things that are not yet known. It can symbolize moodiness, depression, vivid dreams, deep emotions, intuition, but secrets. So Taurus, listen, you can tell me that you're dealing with a Pisces. You can tell me you're in the dark concerning something. You could be using your intuition or there's a secret. Clarify the moon for Taurus. Clarify the moon for Taurus. Clarify the moon. Uh-oh. Flying cards. Clarify the moon for Taurus. Clarify the moon for Taurus. Clarify the moon for Taurus. It is clarified with the five of wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is conflict. This is fussing, fighting, disagreements, arguments, jealousy, competition, drama. But this can also speak to you being conflicted within about something. So Taurus, listen, you can tell me that you're conflicted within about something. However, you can tell me some type of conflict, disagreement, argument, drama taking place here. Now Taurus, listen, you could be conflicted within and maybe using your intuition, yes. However, you could be conflicted with them because you feel like you were left in the dark. But it could also be some type of conflict, disagreement, argument, drama taking place over some type of secret here, some type of secret deception here. Taurus, you have the hermit. Could be dealing with a Virgo. But right now you're taking some time out to be alone, to do some soul searching, introspection, searching your inner man for wisdom and guidance, going within, looking for answers. So Taurus, could be dealing with a Virgo. But you can tell me, hey, I just need some me time. You can tell me that you're doing some heavy duty soul searching, soul searching, soul searching. Or you went on a solo search looking for something. Clarify the hermit at night <laughs> for Taurus. Clarify the hermit for Taurus. Clarify the hermit for Taurus. It is Taurus. You're at the bottom of the deck. It is clarified with the Two of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you needing to make a decision, but you're in the dark about some things. Some things you just refuse to see, refuse to acknowledge, a lack of information, block communication. So it's hard for you to make an informed decision in this position. But this is also a card of you being closed off, blocked off, not wanting to see, wanting to ignore, wanting to turn a blind eye. So Taurus, listen, either you're indecisive, maybe conflicted with them and using your intuition here, or you're blocking. Now, Taurus, you can tell me, listen, you know what? I just want to be alone. I'm blocking communication with you because you guys are having this back and forth tit for tat here. However, Taurus, you could be using your intuition, doing some heavy duty soul searching because you're conflicted with them, needing to make a decision. Taurus, you have the Knight of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is someone coming into you or you're coming into someone to bring something more solid, stable, and secure. Now, this can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value. But it's on the slowest moving night in the deck. So having anything solid, stable, secure, and long lasting is so slow coming to the point where it seems like it's not coming at all. So stability or commitment has been halted. So everything has come to a screeching halt, Taurus. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Taurus. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Taurus. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Taurus. Taurus, you're at the bottom of the deck. It is clarified with the sun. Could be dealing with a Leo, but the sun symbolizes exuberance, illumination, happiness, joy, peace, love, abundance, growth and development and freedom. So listen, Taurus could be dealing with a Leo, but you can tell me that you want to be happy. Okay, you're happy over the moon or something was illuminated. Something came to light. You have the sun, moon and stars here. Clarify the sun for Taurus. Clarify the sun for Taurus. Clarify the sun for Taurus. It is clarified with the hermit again. So like I said, you can tell me that you just need some me time. You can tell me that you're doing some heavy duty soul searching or you went on a solo search looking for something. Could be dealing with a Virgo here. Clarify the hermit for Taurus. Clarify the hermit for Taurus. Clarify the hermit 
a Taurus. It is clarified with the Ace of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is a brand new, passionate, creative endeavor. Now, this can be the spark of a new idea. This can be some type of exciting, passionate communication, exciting, passionate action. But this one is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. So brand new, passionate beginnings. So Taurus, listen, you can tell me that you have the spark of a new idea. You could be initiating something here. This can be passionate communication, romantic passion, or a heated discussion or argument, or starting a passionate new beginning. So Taurus, listen, you can tell me that something was illuminated, saying something came to light. And it very well could be that they started a passionate new beginning somewhere because that could be the deception here. And you thinking long and hard that, hey, I just need to be by myself and bringing everything to a screeching halt could be blocking this person out. But Taurus, you could also tell me that something was illuminated, something came to light to cause you guys to have some type of heated discussion or argument here. Some type of deception, lying, cheating, stealing, you know. And for that reason, things are coming to a screeching halt. You do not see this coming December the 7th, 2022. You guys give me feedback, subscribe, like, comment, and share. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.